24 News, meteorologist Chelsea Chandler. With the Mid-South Certified Most Accurate Forecast. All right, well, it is already nice and I would say even above mild at this point. 76 degrees in Memphis, the surrounding areas. As you can see, we're all in the low to mid 70s right now, but we're going to see those numbers climbing as we get through the day. So, of course, we will once that sun really gets up and starts baking us. Right now, we are still considered very humid as we are in the low 70s. So, expect it to be the air you wear. Uh, you're going to have to, you don't have to break a sweat. The weather helps you with that almost immediately. So, again, I, I I like to I curl my hair in the morning. By the time I get to the midday forecast, it'll be gone. So uh, at that point, uh, we just give up. It's over. As far as the rest of the day, add about six degrees to these temperatures because of those dew points, because that's how we get that heat index. So 84, feeling more like 90 around 9 o'clock. By the lunch hour and beyond, we're going to get up to a high of about 93. That's going to feel closer to triple digits. As we do see that happening, though, we also see our rain chances coming in. It's not a washout. Very spotty showers at best, 20 to 30 percent. As we head towards the evening, we really won't get any relief for a while. So expect a very warm day again. 93 feeling like 99 on repeat tomorrow. As we head through the rest of the week, rain chances will begin to increase. And as it does, our temperatures begin to drop slightly. But as we head towards the weekend, which is going to be, of course, a holiday weekend, it actually gets a little bit cooler, a little bit below average. So that's going to be nice for us. Now, if you're going to be outside today, whether for work or for fun, make sure you put your sunscreen on because our UV is almost at the top of the scale at 10. Uh, it's actually slightly above 10, but it's not quite an 11. So again, you want to wear the sunscreen, stay in the shade as much as possible. You can burn as quickly as 20 minutes to make sure you're reapplying sunscreen. Uh, read whatever it is and make sure it's not a dis it's also hasn't um, expired because that can happen as well. So make sure you have some that's up to date. As far as what's going on with the radar, nothing, but we may see that later on today, some showers and thunder showers. So here's a look at your hour by hour. Again, a mix of sun and clouds, a little bit more clouds this afternoon as we start to see the chance for those pop up showers. Again, they pop up when they want to where they want to. It won't be a washout, but it's a, again the kind where you may be seeing it. The next county over may not. So again, you may see some heavy downpours with that. So hear some thunder uh, rumble, see some lightning flash. And if you hear thunder roar, we want you to come indoors, see a flash. It's time to dash. Those are my two little corny phrases for you today. As we get into the rest of the day tomorrow, almost identical afternoon when we get the heating of the day, you start to see those showers developing and popping up. So again, it's not going to be really organized rain. It's not a washout, but it's going to be what we deal with. So again, 30% today and tomorrow, but as we head towards the middle of the week, more towards about Thursday, we peak at 70% chance for showers and thunder showers. But then we start to drop off, which is nice for the weekend again, because it is a holiday weekend. People are going to want to head to the lake, do whatever it is that you do to celebrate. So. Again, we do have 93 today and tomorrow almost identical, but we do see those rain chances continuing. And as rain chances begin to ramp up, we see those temperatures dropping into the 80s. So it is going to be cooler. It's going to be a little less humid and we are going to see less rain chances. So hopefully it stays that way. Uh, but of course it is uh, seven days out, so we'll keep an eye on it and keep you up to date of any other changes in your forecast in the next couple of days.